Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest. From zero day as well. a mad dog dead sick needed to be done this calls for a celebration in it and now that i'm not being hunted by a psychopath i think i'd like to see that safe house of yours link me there Welcome to DeadSec Central, Hamish. Enough to convince you to join us? Nah, mate. Gotta maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam. They won't pack it in so easily. Hope DeadSec's got some fight left in it. Probably never thought you would be partying with that sack, did you, Inspector? <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him, and with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Dead sack is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team Dead sack.
I was having a chat with your mate, Richard Malik. Just a former Sirs agent in a former Albion drone talking shop. And What the hell do you mean there's no open investigation? Are you the police or not? We are. And I mean it exactly the way it sounds. My friend was a journalist. She was working on a story about Sirs kidnapping people off the street and then she goes missing. You don't find that the slightest bit suspicious? Look. The decision not to investigate happened way, way over my pay grade. Do you understand? Taking time out from the exciting world of online contracts, Nout? A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. Seeing what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. The journalist mentioned in that call seems to have run afoul of SIRS. And seeing as they've taken 1984 letters of dire warning and more as an instruction book, she may be in trouble. She needs our help. Agreed. Let's do it. I've marked her last known location on your map. You should hurry, though. It was dated recently enough that SIRS might not have caught up with her yet. I don't think I like you laughing at us, Malik. You have something to say, say it. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? have a problem. Come talk to me. Hello. Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labelled Drill Britannia. What the hell? Deadset. The name is Zero Day. We've met before, in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Zero Day has stolen from us. Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. Trace that signal, Bagley. I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. 